Now let us go one step further. Now let us say that I still want to find the optimal prices. This time I don't want to maximize revenues. I want to maximize profits. So what is profit? Profit function is usually whatever I earn minus whatever I spend. That is my profit. So whatever, whatever is my sales revenue, my sales revenue is the net uh, inflow to me, right? Uh, uh, that is the income minus whatever I spend. How much do I spend? In general, uh, uh, if I sell 10 products, I will have to manufacture those 10 products and the cost of uh, uh, producing those 10 products will be my expenses. So for now, uh, uh, so yes, uh, profit is a difference between revenue and the cost. Uh, revenue is the sales revenue. Let us say that the marginal cost of producing the product is C, right? Uh, marginal cost of producing the product is C. So if I sell 10 products, I have to manufacture those 10 products and I am going to spend uh, 10 into C uh, as the total cost of producing these 10 products. If I sell D units of products, it will be D into C. Right? Uh, so that is my total cost. My marginal cost is C. Therefore, the total cost is going to be how many products I sold multiplied by the marginal cost of that product. Therefore, what is going to be the profit function? Profit function is going to be this difference between revenue and cost. What is revenue? Uh, total revenue is, uh, total revenue is uh, whatever I sell in the market multiplied by whatever price I charge. Right? So this is, the, uh, this is the net sales revenue. So this is coming from sales of goods. This is the product, uh, production cost, right? Pro cost of producing. So C is my marginal cost of producing uh, each unit. How many units do I sell? I sell DP number of units and therefore my total cost is going to be DP into C. Total cost is going to be DP into C. Therefore the profit which is generally indicated by pi of P, P is to just to indicate that it is a function of price. It is a function of price. So profit as a function of price is demand at that particular price multiplied by the price that is charged in the market. So this is your total revenue minus demand multiplied by the marginal cost. Okay, just, just uh, make sure that you have digested this equation, fairly straightforward equation. Now the, the thing that we are going to do is very similar to what uh, we had done for profit maximization, uh, for revenue maximization. For revenue maximization, what did we do next? We said, well, this demand, this demand is a function of price and we will, we will write that linear relationship. So we will replace this D of P with, we will replace this D of P with the equation which is D naught uh, minus M into P, D naught minus M into P, right? Uh, and uh, we are going to separate out the P minus C part because D of P is common, D of P is common. So uh, your profit function is going to be D naught minus M into P bracket multiplied by P minus C, right? So now, what are we trying to find? We are trying to find the optimal price, which means that I do not know the price. I do not know the price that I am going to charge. I do know the market size. I, know, I do know the uh, uh, market size, which is D0. I do know the slope, right? Uh, I, I know how the demand changes with respect to price. I know the marginal cost, right? Because that is the cost that I am going to incur to produce each product. I, I need to decide what should be the optimal price to charge in the market, right? So let us let us simplify this. Let us simplify this, uh, right? So for our uh, for our equation uh, for our uh, numerical example, D naught was 5842.8, slope was uh, 157, and uh, let us put some value for C, right? Let us put some value for C. So now let us say that the marginal cost uh, marginal cost let us say is uh, some uh, some value. Okay, how are we going to maximize this uh, profit function now? Very similar. We are going to use first order necessary condition. First order necessary condition says take the partial derivative of profit with respect to price, set the partial derivative equal to 0. So this is the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to price. Uh, turns out to be like this, right? Uh, turns out to be like this. Uh, you can verify that this equation is correct. When I take the partial derivative of uh, profit with respect to price, you can guarantee that uh, you can verify that uh, this is the this is the expression that I am going to get. And when I set this partial derivative with respect to 0, I get the optimal price uh, as this expression, as this expression. Okay. So here the optimal price is given by uh, uh, D naught plus M into C divided by 2 into M. Okay. This is the optimal price. What do I mean by optimal price? 
this is the price that maximizes profit this is the price that maximizes profit once again i expect the profit curve to be also a concave curve a concave curve so this is my price on the x axis this is my profit on the y axis uh, which is indicated by pi function and i am saying that uh, there is some value of p there is some value of p p star which is given by this expression here at this point the profit is maximum okay so the profit is maximum okay so this is the this is the value of the p at which the profit is maximized once again just like for revenue maximization you should find the second derivative and make sure that our curve is a concave curve and we are not getting the minimum value of the profit right but once again we will leave that mathematical uh, part out and let us focus on the pricing part okay so for our example for our numerical numerical example i already know the d not i already know the market size i know the slope let us have some value of the marginal cost let us have some value of the marginal cost and then try to find the optimal prices okay so now if i assume that the marginal cost is 15 the c is 15 then the optimal price uh, the profit maximizing price turns out to be 26.02 